Do you want to be partners in crime? She's like, yes. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Darius and today we're back with some more of The Sims 4 Ultimate Decades Challenge. So the year is 1379 and it is time to continue on with our household. So Miss Ma'am Mod Carrie is now a teen, which gives us two teens officially that are going to get married. Well, I guess we don't know if they're gonna get married off or not. Um, I should probably roll for that. I just realized I kind of forgot to. So let's go ahead and start with Ruth really quick. You're getting married, right? Like I, I'm gonna get a side household out of you. Okay, so roll a d20 for marriage. One to three is never married and four to 20 is they get married. So let's see what she gets. She gets a 12. Ruth Carey is going to get married. And I guess we should check to make sure that you get married as well. <laughs> What are you looking at? I, I know her face is a little bit crazy, a little bit everywhere, um, but let, let's go ahead and roll for her as well really quick. What is you gonna get, Maud? You got an 18, so Maud is also going to get married. Okay, <laughs> well, now that we have that situa situated, let's go ahead and figure out what you are currently doing. You're eating, awesome. I kind of left the game playing for a second because I'm recording all three days or all three years that I'm going to be uploading this week at once this time. So yeah, I, <laughs> I I don't know what's going on with everybody. Everybody, yeah, their needs are not great. Let's have you come over here and use the restroom really quick and then come down here and let's join Mod. I will be right back. We are going to get her to drop out of high school as well. Okay, ma'am, now that you've been dropped out, let's get you a broom. Um, I try to get all of my teens and adults brooms just because I, yeah, we, we kind of need them. Here, you can have a nice one with a birch handle, okay? Just so that way everyone can kind of help with sleeping and caring for the house. We owe 356 simoleons because our house is bigger. We're definitely going to have to try to get that soon. Why is the tax collector literally here? constantly it's like four times a week i don't understand okay i'm not gonna lie if we're being realistic a household without like a current adult male heir would probably have the women who are old enough to work be working so once ruth gets back from her job i think we're gonna unlock uh to where we can go ahead and have all of them job hunt. I think we're going to go ahead and have Tilly probably be like, um, I forgot what it's called. Like when you help the mother give birth. I can't think of the name of it. But yeah, we're going to have Tilly probably do that. And then we're going to have honestly, probably also Ruth and then Maude might become a beggar or something else. I guess we will see. Oh, I didn't realize that this this um, got bought. So we're going to go ahead and ship this on Plopsy really quick. Okay, so since we do have our heir, Dominic, we're gonna go ahead and start working on his aspirations now, just because I feel like that's probably for the best, it's the best thing that we could do at the moment. And right now he needs to make a BFF. So we're gonna try and do that with his twin sister over here. I think her feeding the mini like Dalmatian goat is so adorable. Like, look at how cute it is. Ugh. I love it so much. So we're really just working on the twins right now. I really, really just want for them to get along and everything. I just really remembered we had bills. Can we? We don't have enough small and spare bills right now. Lovely. Okay, who has the cart and what can we put on it to sell? I forgot that we still had a watermelon. Whoop -da daisy Wait, how do we get 430 simoleons? I'm very confused about that, but we're going to pay our bills. <laughs> I just remembered I was going to get rid of the off the grid trait really quick. So that way all of them can kind of get some jobs. OK, here we go. So here are the different jobs. Never be a manual laborer. We have beggar, drama club and scout. So I guess the only thing that we can do while they're still teens is beggars, which is fine. We can have her go ahead and be a beggar as well. We will pretend like maybe they are actually doing something else. Wait, I don't even remember. Do I actually have the mod with the different jobs from medieval jobs in this one? I don't know that I do past like the beggar job. Artisan. 
Ooh, artisan careers. That could be really cool to do. Yeah, okay. I guess the artisan is just like a peasant class job. We make five simoleons per hour. We can definitely say that she's going to be an artisan, which means she'll work from nine to five. What does she have to do for work? It doesn't say. Okay, I guess after this first level, we get to actually select a branch, which I am wondering what the different branches are going to be. But yeah, so now all the adults in the household, or I guess adults in the household will actually have jobs. Um, for beggars, we can pretend like there may be like maids at someone's house, you know, instead of being exactly a beggar. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, they are at a pretty high, like, friendship level now. So, like, when, when can I make them? Oh, wrong, wrong sim. Wrong sibling, wrong sibling. I didn't mean to make you do stuff. You can continue. Um, still at a pretty high friendship though. Okay, they just became good friends, which I think we can go ahead and make them BFFs relatively soon. I mean, they're both tired, so I'll let him do whatever he needs to do. Ruth has to go to work soon. So hopefully, let's go ahead and wake her up. Let's go ahead and send Maud out foraging, I think, for today. We can become partners in crime. That's great. Do you want to be partners in crime? She's like, yes. You know, he doesn't like mischief. I just remembered. Become best friends forever. Do it. Do it. That's what we've been working towards this whole time. Cute. It makes so much sense, too, because they're like twins. I fully messed up the shot of that. Oh, my goodness. But milestone complete. Becomes friends with three other children. Become friends with two adults. Nice. We are now friends with Catherine as well, which is perfect. I don't know if we can even become friends with three children. Simply for the fact of I don't know that there's three children in this town because none of the Sims, like none of the townies seem to be having kids. I have not seen a single like toddler or infant or anything. Well, it looks like Otto is back up in the grave. I am actually going to go ahead and have just because all of the kids have also like technically, you know, lost their father. I'm going to have all of them join in after school activity as well, i.e. begging afterwards after they wake up because this family really needs the money. <laughs> And I've decided that we're not really gonna focus on farming past trying to have plants for food and stuff now that they don't have like an adult male sim with them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and have all of them do beggar. There's also squire dumb, which is interesting, but we're gonna do beggar. I don't think any of them would be wealthy enough to do squire dumb because I feel like squire dumb, yeah, it's unpaid. And there we go. We have all of them essentially with jobs. Some of them will be gone at the same time. Other ones at very different times of the day. Let's go ahead and throw the off the grid lot trait back on. So right now, Dominic is casually getting to know Reginald. Um, he likes hardworking Sims. I mean, yes, why not? Yeah, for some reason he wants to be friends with Reginald. So that's what we're trying to do. And I think we just did it. Yep, we are now friends with Reginald McCrook. Um, I'm gonna mark that one as complete because I forgot there's two different Reginald McCrooks right now, which is an issue. Oh, he's paranoid and erratic. Of course he is. And Ruth is off to work. What time does Ruth work at? From four until eight. I think the rest of them work from six until 11. Okay. Awesome. And Tilly is now home. Meanwhile, work for everyone else starts in about an hour. Let's go ahead and have her come over here, use elbow grease, homemade produce. Can we can anything right now? Let's do cooking, broth, soup, and stew. And let's go ahead and do fish head stew. So that way when all the children get back from work, they can have like a nice, big, good meal. Ah, uh, yes, eating her fish head stew all by her lonesome. And afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and have her use the restroom after she's done eating. And I'll probably honestly have her take a quick and tepid bath. And Ruth brought home 140 simoleons, which is perfect. Good job, Ruth. And the rest of the kids have all come home. I think they all earned 20 simoleons, all the same. 
they're on the same level at the moment. Let's pretty much have all of them just come over here, grab some food, and then go to bed. For breakfast, let's go ahead and have her make a baguette basket because that's something that does actually spoil. But it is kind of fun because it's like a nice little basket of breads. And I feel like between these eggs that they have and the breads, that would make sense for a peasant breakfast, especially back in this time period. I forgot work for her starts in like an hour. I don't know that she can make this within an hour, unfortunately. <laughs> Which makes me slightly sad just because, yeah, I kind of forgot that I have her working now. She she at least won't benefit from it, but maybe her kids will. If nothing else, I can see if I can have Miss Ruth complete the food once her mother leaves. You, you really don't have time to chat with Ruth if you're going to get this done. I'm not going to lie. Um, maybe just you doing it. Yes. And then I think she just has to bake it now. She might be a few oh, minutes okay. late to work, but I feel like that <laughs> should be fine. Hopefully. Yeah. Because it says, oh, it says think about family member. Okay. I thought it was going to be like, go to work. I'm also curious. Is there anyone that, Great. why do you get along with Reginald? No, not going to happen. Uh -huh. I'm trying to see it. I'm feeling Maurice. I don't think Maurice has a spouse right now. So we probably need to have her go over there eventually and just like talk to him until he's officially off to work. There's a baguette basket. Does this like fill up like a meal? I feel like hopefully it does. Okay, yeah, baguettes are definitely like a full meal. So I might start making them a bit more often, just to, like mix up the fact that like we have gruel and stuff most of the time. Oh nice, we did get a hatchable egg. So let's go ahead and place that back in here. We have 13 eggs, so I'm kind of hoping that she is able to cook relatively well. She can at least, she can make the scotch eggs as well. Nice. Let's go make a party size of scotch eggs. I believe that those give us a bit more hunger than boiled eggs. Although I might be horribly wrong. I have no idea. All the siblings are over here eating bread. And then we're also going to go ahead and have some of this pudding. How long does it take to make the hasty pudding? I feel like making this hasty pudding has not been very hasty. I'm kind of just making it to get rid of like the ingredients that we had for the day. I'm not going to lie. It'll also, I think, make the Sims happy to have like sweet and stuff. Okay, and it takes 24 hours to spoil. So like Sims have a while to eat it. Ooh, are you dazed? You are dazed from burning out. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all, I think we're going to go ahead and end off this episode of the Ultimate Decades Challenge here. Not too much happened in this episode except befriending the tax collector, which felt very strange. I'm not going to lie. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, truly appreciate it. We are trying to hit that thousand subscribers mark, you know. But also check out the next episode right over there. And you can check out the playlist right down below that. And I will see you guys all next time to see if Ruth gets married and also for another sibling to hopefully age up. Hopefully, hopefully it'll happen.